Hello, my name is Sean. Welcome to The Limit. And today, I want to talk about the latest Ferrari special project, the BR20. And it's kind of taking me a minute to talk about this car because I was hoping there would be more photos of it so I can put them in the video so y'all wouldn't have to look at the same pictures over and over again. But that isn't the case. This car has been shown to us and then just, boom, disappeared off to the owner and we'll probably never see pictures of it again until it resurfaces maybe years down the line but if you don't know this car is based on the gtc for luso and this car is vastly different than what the gtc for luso was that car was a shooting brake and this is a fastback car you know, this rear seats have been deleted, so there's that going for this car. And its style is more liking to, let's say, the 812 super fast than what the GTC4 Luso was. Being based on the V12 version of the GTC4 Luso, this car has 681 horsepower and has the same um, interior, same infotainment, same steering wheel, same seats, except the rear seats have been deleted. The exterior is where things get a lot crazier, especially in the front, because the front end looks more like the F12 Berlinetta than it does, you know, the Luso. The lights are giving me Portofino vibes, while the hood, the way it slopes, is giving me Roma vibes, but, you know, who knows what this car actually was based on now. The side profile is very striking. I don't know if I really like it or not. The fender vents extend to a carbon fiber piece that looks a little bit off on the side of this car. It just doesn't really fit the flow to me. Now, the rear end is where things get way different from what the Luso actually is. You know, a shooting brake. This is a fast back car. And the rear end looks just like, you know, the GTC4 Luso, which looks like, the, you know, the 812 super fast. And the flying buttresses elegantly showcase the actual line flows that they were going for when designing the rear of this car so it's really appreciative and it harkens back to the 599 gtb overall the design is pretty damn excellent i only have a few issues with this car mainly i don't understand the point of it when there's f12s and 812s out there why do this with a Luso? A Luso is a bigger, wider car than this, but when you take away the rear seats, it, it just gives you more, you know, luggage space. It doesn't really beat the F12 or 812 in the GT department. It's just more room, and the interior for the Luso is not better than the 812. And the technology in it is not better than the 812. It's actually pretty dated compared to that car. Sure, you could say the person in that commission is probably liked the practicality of a Luso with the styling of a F12. And I say that for what I'm assuming this cost, I'm assuming this is in the millions, they could have had a Luso and a F12 and, you know, not do this to the car. Or do more with the interior. At least get Ferrari to give you the Roma's infotainment screen and steering wheel. That could be, you know, the least they could do. Except now you're stuck with the old infotainment screen from the Luso and the old steering wheel from old Ferrari. It kind of dates your car, your brand new car. I don't really get it. And yeah, that's my opinion on this. I just want to let you guys know I'm not bashing this car i'm just confused by why anyone would want to do this to a luso when there's so many other ferrari options out there uh, let me know what you guys think of the br20 do you like it do you think i'm overreacting when it comes to this car and why it's a thing let me know in the comments and with that said i'd like to catch you guys in the next video peace